In the early 1970s, as science fiction conventions were really starting to take off, they were still very small. However, for those that often got made fun of, it was a place to feel at home. Nerds, geeks, dorks, fans, whatever you call them, they truly felt at home inside the convention walls. But when Heidi Shaw took the stage to accept her third place win as Vampirilla, she didn't feel she was at home when the crowd started the boo. The 14-year-old cosplayer, a term that would be decades from being thawed up, had a great costume, and those boos were not really aimed at her. Heidi was born in 1959, the daughter of Art Schuhein, a well-known science fiction editor and president of the New York Science Fiction Society. He would also become known as the one to coin the phrase, Trekkie. Her mother was a small-time stage actress that never really saw her dreams of being a star come true. For the 1973 comic art convention, Heidi showed up along with her father and mother dressed as Vampirilla. She would be one of two dressed as the character at the convention the other being 20-year-old Angelica Travari. She was pretty known around comic conventions at the time as Destiny. You would think the booze of Heidi on stage at the age of 14, almost nude, is what upset the convention crowd, but it wasn't. The booze had started due to rumors going around that Heidi was there as more of a professional reason for James Warren. James Warren was a publisher of the Vampirilla comics. Fans believed that the costume was professionally made, something the fan base saw as cheating. Warren would deny that he had made any deal with Heidi's parents before the convention, but he was clear that he did make a deal with them after. As a way to thank Heidi for coming as Vampirilla, he would publish an article about her for the November 1973 issue of Vampirilla under the headline, Two Vampirillas Stunned at a Comic Art Convention. The article would show photos of Heidi and Angelica, but it was clear that most of the shine was put on Heidi, saying that she was the crowd favorite. Heidi's mother would come to Warren with a plan to do photos and magazine all about Heidi as a way to get her daughter's name out there to make her a celebrity. Famous Monsters of Filmland editor Forrest Gene Ackerman had met Heidi at a convention and had become a fan and soon as started appearing in all the magazines being published by James Warren and edited by Ackerman. And soon a whole magazine, all of Heidi, was released. That magazine called the illustration history of Heidi Shaw wouldn't be around long. It would be pulled pretty quickly after being released. Rumors of nude photos of Heidi inside the magazine started up almost from the start, but that rumor was proven false when a few of the magazines got out to the public. Inside was nothing more than family photos. Heidi didn't even appear in her Vampirilla costume. Although the magazine wasn't anything illegal, it was questionable with some of the captions used seeming a little creepy for a magazine of a young girl. It's believed that 500 copies of the magazine was printed and sold at conventions. A plan for a wide release was canceled. Fewer than 100 are out there in collectors' hands today. A poster would be available, and as would appear in Famous Monster magazine and other worn magazines. The drama would really hit its peak when Emerald Morris published a poem in a convention booklet in 1974. The poem was about Heidi, but the name was spelled with an S instead of an H. This poem would upset many in the convention scene for two different reasons. Some felt the poem was an attack on a young girl who was only doing what she was told, and others, like Heidi's mother, was upset that the photo used in the poem was not of Heidi, but an unknown model that looked a lot more sexual than Heidi ever did. This would cause Heidi's father to pin Emerald against the wall until bystanders had to pull him off. Emerald would later go on to explain that the poem was an attack, but not an attack against Heidi, but her parents, who had forced her into doing the convention as a way to make her a star. It seemed in the summer of 1973, at the comic art convention, Emerald witnessed just how bad things were. Heidi's mother physically dragged a crying Heidi into one of the convention's smaller ballrooms set up for the comic book professionals, bringing along with her a cassette boombox. Her mother turned it on and ordered Heidi to prance around the room, Heidi refused, but her mother kept getting louder and nastier. Heidi kept refusing and busted into tears, causing her mother to slap her. The people in the room walked out, leaving the room empty. Emerald said he felt really bad for Heidi, and when he saw Heidi being featured in the magazine months later, he wrote the poem as a public comment and hoped it would force the issue and help Heidi. The poem went, There's a girl that I know, whose mom has her for show, and she's bringing her to the convention. When she gets there, mom knows, the men will eye her clothes, with a word she commands her about the floor. And her costumes have shown, from a tailor are born, for her, 
the portrayals have no meaning. In the line at the ball, she is there standing tall, sometimes all of her faults are forgiven. I've a feel of unrest, when looking at the best, and then to know she will wind up winning. And I see all around, that fine costumes abound, and hear voices of those who sit booing. And it's whispered that soon, if we all call the tune, then the judges will lead us to reason. And the prizes will pass to those who stand fast and the audience will echo with laughter. Sidey? In an interview, Emerald would say after publishing the poem that one of Heidi's friends told him, Heidi says thank you. The poem seemed to have done its job, as Heidi would disappear from the convention scene almost overnight. Heidi would go on to do modeling for science fiction book covers, and in 1996 sold her Vampirilla costume at an auction for an undeclosed amount. In 1999, she wrote the obituary for her father for the 2000 issue of Locust Magazine. Other than that, Heidi has mostly kept out of the limelight and in private. Heidi might not be the first cosplayer ever, but she was the first one to become a myth and a legend. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, thumb up so I know you like my content. And we'll talk again soon. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.